It's been a wonderful opportunity to bring together representatives from the private sector, the investment community, uh, you know, uh, research groups, nonprofit organizations, some intergovernmental organizations, uh, to talk about how uh, the private sector and investors uh, might provide greater leadership in helping uh, communities, uh, countries uh, achieve uh, higher levels of sustainable resource use and, and livelihoods, uh, environmentally sustainable uh, uh, uses of resources through their corporate activities. Uh, so this very much involves taking up uh, you know, global standards uh, of good investment with respect to uh, environmental uh, use, of, use of land and natural resources. It very much involves how companies take account of uh, the social and economic interests of poor people or smallholder farmers or indigenous communities who, who live and work on land that, that companies want to invest in. How do we better take account of their interests and bring them into these investment activities in ways that they benefit also? Uh, but what we're really looking at potentially uh, is a whole kind of shift in the paradigm of how we view the role of the private sector uh, in helping uh, society uh, achieve uh, its environmental sustainability goals. I do. I think this is actually uh, an expression of that momentum, uh, this meeting, because in the last three to five years, we've seen a shift in, in company thinking uh, to wanting to be part of the solution to these problems. There's an understanding that company uh, survival, uh, access to, uh, it very much depends on access to uh, resources that are sustainably used or protected. And management and managed. We're seeing, you know, considerable alarm among among corporate leaders uh, about the impacts of climate change already on uh, climate, on changes in weather patterns, uh, negative impacts on crop productivity and and, 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 uh, and production, uh, uh, more frequent uh, extreme weather events, uh, uh, storms. Uh, uh, tornadoes, flooding, and these are all, you know, the, in many ways the, the, the corporate leadership have sort of gotten the message uh, much more directly. Uh, uh, it's affecting their bottom line in ways that some of our political leadership have not got the message, if you will. So this is really an expression of this momentum, I think, and, and we're moving away from the notion of uh, kind of uh, impact investing, as it's called, uh, being kind of a boutique uh, kind of undertaking. It kind of makes the investor feel good. They're willing to tolerate maybe a lower rate of return in favor of sort of making a contribution to the community. Shifting into sort of being much more mainstream. You know, if you're not producing commodities through clean value chains, you're generating all kinds of risk as a, as a company. Uh, you're uh, you're uh, exposing uh, the investor in that company to reputational risk. Uh, consumers are expecting commodities uh, that uh, be produced sustainably, so if you're not meeting those expectations, you're not going to be selling your commodities on highly value, in highly valued markets. This is becoming a, a core part of the business kind of calculus. Uh, sustainability really pays, and if you're not producing sustainably, capital is going to cost you more money you face the risk of not having access to important markets. Well, some number of companies are, are already behaving differently. And these are sort of companies with marquee brands, uh, Unilever, uh, Nestle, Coca-Cola. Uh, you know, they represent a large proportion of the sort of source of demand for commodities. Uh, the markets that they serve uh, have, consist of consumers who are setting higher demands. But they're, they're still not, you know, they're, they're significant, but, but they're not the whole community of corporate activity. And, you know, some of the research reported on at the conference indicates that sort of once you sort of, you, know, you look at the top 20 global companies and you see very rapid implementation of sustainability standards, okay? But once you sort of drop below that sort of top 20, the, the commitment to standards really drops off very quickly. 
So there's a lot of work to be done uh, in the corporate sector. Uh, you know, consumers, you know, need to set even higher expectations of another range of, of companies. And so, you know, getting control of your supply chain or understanding what happens in it is very hard work. And companies are investing, some number are investing very heavily in assuring that their, their suppliers are producing uh, commodities in a sustainable way uh, and a socially responsible way. But it's very, very difficult. We're learning, uh, companies have known for some time, to sort of assure, uh, you know, clean, uh, you know, sustainably produced products in the value chain. So there's a lot of work to be done, but there's a lot of leadership coming out of the private sector in pursuit of that.